it's Mia here. I am still awaiting my uh, fan page name change to happen from Mia Davies to Mia Renee, as that is my new branding. The new website is almost finished, so I'm so excited about that. But what I want to share with you today is how you can run your business online uh, or build your brand online or get a message out to the world, build your ministry, whatever you have, without ever running out of valuable content to share with your market. So if you feel like you tend to run out of something to talk about, or you feel like, what should I talk about? What do people want to know? I want to share something with you today that could give you a whole new perspective. Uh, this is something that changed for me years ago. And since that time, I've never run out of content to share and never will. I'm hundreds of episodes into my podcast. Uh, if you're a subscriber of the God Start Success podcast, you know that I have hundreds of episodes where I talk pretty much uh, every episode is about 30 to 40 minutes long. And uh, I could keep going for years to come and hundreds of episodes to come because there's never, I never run out of content to share. I mean, I can write a list right now of things that have happened today that I could turn into a podcast episode or a video or a Facebook live because it would add value to someone else's life. But here's what shifted for me a few years ago that allowed me to never run out of content to share. And I wanna pass it on to you because you can apply it as well. Um, so what it is, is understanding that everything that you go through in your life, every experience that you have, you can actually, if you're willing to generously share the journey, which I always have online, um, if you're willing to share the journey, you can take any experience you have, whether it's a, a mountaintop experience, like a, a peak experience or a valley experience, you know, like a challenge, tribulation you're going through, you can take any experience that you're having and frame it in such a way that it's valuable to other people and they can apply it to their life immediately. So that's high value to them. Um, and it's you being willing to generously share the journey, which by the way, you learn a lot by sharing the journey and passing on the lessons that you've experienced. It, it also forces you to actually grow from your experiences. So if you tend to be someone who um, stays stuck after having a challenge or tribulation or your, your faith gets really challenged by it, or maybe you hold grudges for a long period of time. Um, you know, if you tend to struggle with kind of feeling like a victim about things that happen in life. Now, if the minute you shift this and start realizing, you know what, every lesson I have, every trial I go through, every experience I have, I can take the best from it and I can grow from it. And if you're going to be that kind of person, I'll tell you right now, you'll never run out of content to share if you're willing to share the journey. So you could go through a massive trial or tribulation and you could say, you know what, like it could have happened this morning and you literally could create a video or go live or do a podcast and pull some kind of golden nugget from that experience, from that pain, from that situation that could add value to someone else's life. And if you have that intention, you will always add value to people's lives. What a lot of people do is they just share, they think sharing the journey is kind of like dumping on people, whatever's going on with them. And that won't work. That's about you basically saying, this is all about me. I'm going to share my drama. I'm going to share my stuff. And you leave other people with a feeling of concern for you. You leave other people feeling kind of uh, like what's going on with her or him, or are they okay? And so that's actually being a taker. You're actually taking from people because now you're, you're having them be worried about you. Being a giver is packaging up what you went through and uh, making sure it lands for people as valuable. Okay. So you could go through a trial or tribulation and you could go do a Facebook live or, um, or create a YouTube video or a podcast episode. And you could say to people, listen, I just faced my biggest fear or the, the biggest tragedy in my life just happened today. And in the midst of it, as overwhelmed as I was, I said a prayer and I felt this peace wash over me that was unexplainable. And I want to share this with you because next time you face a trial or tribulation, or maybe you're in one right now, I want to encourage you to pray through it. Now, do you see how I just took my trial, my tribulation? I took one golden nugget from it that, that helped me. And I framed it in a way that adds value to other people. Now, now this video is not about my drama. It's not about, oh, I hope Mia's okay. It's about someone going, whoa, that was powerful for my life. The fact that Mia just took the time to share about a pain in her life and, and the peace that she gained from like in the midst of that, I can apply that to my life. So now you're being a hope giver, right? You're being a giver. You're giving people tools and opportunities because you're generous enough to share the journey, but you're framing it in a way that adds value to their life. Now, if you start to become this kind of person, you literally could wake up first thing in the morning and by the end you know, by lunchtime, you could have multiple 
experiences that you've already had, positive and negative, you know, the goods and the bads that you can position and package as valuable to other people, right? You can have, you know, people care about certain areas of their life. They care about their their health and their well-being. They care about their relationships. They care about their wealth, their money, and, you know, living on purpose. So let's just say you encountered something today that could help people with their communication and their relationships. Let's say you encountered something this morning that you could pass along that will help them in dealing with their health and their well-being or their wealth and their business and their purpose, right? You have so many experiences in a day that can add value to someone else's life. But are you the kind of person that sees it or are you missing it, right? A lot of times people are missing the miracles happening around them, the divine, divine appointments. People are missing the incredible, valuable lessons that are happening in their life that they can pass on to other people. And then they sit back and go, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell my people. Like maybe you're a health coach or a relationship coach or a business coach. And you're like, I, I'm running out of content. How are you running out of content? You, all those areas of your life are important to you, right? And to people you encounter. Think about just your day, how many lessons you have that you can pull in the area of health or wealth or relationships that you can package as valuable and pass on to other people. And when I started doing this, I have never run out of content ever since. Now, this isn't even to mention, you know, checking in with your audience and asking what are your top questions. This isn't even mentioning keyword research and finding out what your audience is looking for online. I'm not even going there in this video. All I'm saying is, are you the kind of person right now, just start here. Are you the kind of person that wakes up in the morning and ends your day, you know, by the, by the night, at the end of the day, you're ending your day and you look back and you see so many lessons learned that day. And if you're not that kind of person, I want to invite you to make that shift and start to look at things that way. I literally, every encounter I have, if I get something from it, my first instinct now, because my brain is trained this way, is, well, I need to pass that on. Either I create a training video for my direct clients, or I go live and I publicly share it, or it goes into my next podcast episode. It's a constant cycling of new topics, new angles, new lessons, because I'm growing every day. I'm learning something new every day. You know, I'm breaking through my own stuff every single day. And every time I do, I know it can contribute to somebody else if I'm willing to pass it on. So this, this is really comes down to you being a giver, being selfless. It can no longer be about you. Everything you go through, when it becomes no longer about you, but it becomes about how you can now contribute to others through what you just went through, that is when everything goes to the next level for business, entrepreneurship, but also just the quality of your life. Because you're no longer a victim. You're no longer like just going through life to just go through it. Like it gives you so much purpose because everything you encounter, you can then pass it on, pass it on. So pretty much anything I encounter, anything I go through is awesome because I'm going to pass it on to other people in some way, shape or form, right? So it's not going to be a lesson just for me. I decided that years ago. And I will tell you, I get messages every single day from people around the world listening to the podcast, talking about how much is changing their life. I get messages from people saying literally they started businesses, started companies, took their company to the next level, um, you know, got into relationships or ended things that were not, you know, healthy for them, got closer to God. I, I have had messages from people saying they've given their life to Christ because of my podcast. I hear it every day and I think about, wow, what if I wasn't willing to share the journey? What if I wasn't willing and generous enough and had the perspective enough to realize that my lessons are valuable to other people and I just kept them to myself? Imagine how many lives wouldn't be impacted. And those are only the people who tell me that stuff. Our ripple effect goes far beyond what we'll ever hear from people. So I wanna challenge you to understand that your life is highly valuable. Everything you go through is highly valuable if you're willing to package it and position it as value to other people. But it takes you knowing that it's not about you anymore. So if this makes sense for you, if this is uh, valuable to you, if you know other people need to hear this, hit the share button. Um, and if you have any thoughts on this, comment down below. I wanna hear from you. And um, if you are not a subscriber to the podcast yet, go subscribe on iTunes. If you're not an iTunes user, which most people are, you can listen on Spotify or Stitcher Radio as well. Um, but there's hundreds of episodes that will keep you encouraged and walking in truth. And I have a lot more to come because like I said, I never run out of stuff to talk about. Life is always happening for every day that God still has me here and breathing and alive. I can promise you, I have something to pass on to you because that's just the way that he made us. And he made you that way too. But are you willing to step into it? Because when you are, 
gets really fun. And you'll never run out of stuff to talk about. I can promise you that. All right, let me know if this made any difference for you, whether you're watching the recording, whether you're, uh, you know, wherever you are in the world, let me know. I wanna know what you're up to, how I can contribute to you. If this made any difference, just communicate with me below because that tells me where you are uh, as well if you guys want more videos like this too. All right, that's it, signing off and peace out.